Sensitive periods of learning can be described as specific times during our development when a biological event is more sensitive to environmental stimuli. So for instance, our brains are most sensitive to exposure to language between the ages of three and seven. After the sensitive period has closed, we can still learn, but the learning process is less efficient. So for instance, if we grew up, grow up in an environment where we're not exposed to language through our childhood, i.e. we're not exposed until, say, we reach adolescence, we can still learn language. It's just that the process will be less efficient. Critical periods, on the other hand, are finite periods in which an organism has heightened sensitivity to external stimuli that is compulsory for the de development of a particular skill. For instance, certain areas of the visual cortex are only capable of synapse formation during the early stages of development. And once the critical period has, has elapsed, the individual will have some visual impairment if they're not exposed to that visual stimuli during the critical period. As illustrated by experiments done by Hubel and Wiesel, which temporarily, temporarily blindfolded one eye of a kitten during the critical period, from zero to three months, and when the blindfold was taken off one eye, it never fully developed vision in that eye. It actually resulted in a reduction and in dendritic branching at the end of the neuron, and there was less afferent activity in the blindfolded eye. So in terms of differences between sensitive and critical periods, well, sensitive periods start and end gradually as opposed to critical periods where there's an abrupt start and abrupt end during the period it's a time of maximal sensitivity to environmental stimuli whereas for a critical period we describe it as a heightened sensitivity to external stimuli after the period is closed for a sensitive period it can still learn but the process will be less efficient for a critical period after the period has elapsed, the cortical areas allocated for the skill will adapt and perform a different function. Examples of sensitive periods, well, language development. Again, we can learn after the sensitive period has closed, i.e. adolescence. For a critical period, an example is the full development of our visual capabilities if we're not exposed during those critical periods, we will have some visual deficiencies.